she's an independent and has, surprisingly, consented to show her face on camera. Erin has lived in Vegas for a couple of years. She has her own website, which her clients use to make appointments. She manages her work like any businesswoman. Her customers are filed and listed in alphabetical order. This is just the letter S. Just the letter S. <laughs> okay. Sorry. This is how many S's I've seen. <laughs> so there's still 25 other letters of the alphabet. <laughs> you know how many customers you have? Oh boy. No, I don't know. Is I have no idea. It's impossible to say how many customers did you have during your whole life. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Thousands? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. And we'll put some of those back in the first Erin is a 37-year-old single mother of two boys, aged 8 and 17. Both are aware of how she makes a living. The big decision was, was to be honest about it in our family. And that has helped them both, in the end, the be balanced just, with but it. But it's difficult for them, you think? Or it has been difficult? <laughs> it has been difficult, but we, we've come to, you know, they both understand that I'm able to make as much working a few days a week. It's, you know, it's the only way that I can be a mother and a father in this family and make the income to support them. Yes, but you could make another kind of income. I could never make the same income and support them and be home. Did I tell you first or did your dad tell you? Uh, he did. I did? I thought your dad did. Yeah. Did I? When did I tell you? Nine, ten. But it wasn't the full thing, it was just like, told me a little bit about it and huh? enough for me. And what was there, your first reaction? Uh, your first impression? I didn't really know what it was. I was just like, okay, you talk to people. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then that was about it. Yeah. I didn't really understand it. Hmm. Well, do you and Rise have, you guys, does he gets upset when I go to work, though, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. It's hard because you're not here any like nights, so it's like we're probably alone till about like eleven. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, that's really difficult. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you think it's more difficult maybe for your brother than for you. Or? Yeah, I mean I don't mind it. I kind of like being alone, but my little brother had a hard time with it. Yeah. Hello. A customer is on the phone. Hi there. How are you? Erin yeah. sets up an appointment two hours that? later in one of the city's largest Don't casino hotels. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Do I need to bring any stuff in my suitcase? Um, nothing. Nothing. Okay, that sounds great. I'll see you at six. Okay, bye bye. This is a long appointment. This is four hours. And four hours appointment? Yes, yeah, it's four hours, which How is much? pretty long. Um, I don't know, it's probably at least a thousand. Yeah, at least. One thousand are off for four hours. Yeah. Erin dresses discreetly with not too much makeup. She doesn't want to draw the attention of the police or hotel security. My clients appreciate that too, a lot more, because um, they don't want to be, they would like to go out with me. They would like to take me to dinner. And they want you to look like a girlfriend. A girlfriend to bring along. I'd like to bring these because often you'll bring out these. When she's working, Erin always brings a small case in which she keeps sexy clothes and an array of gadgets. That's part of the reason that people also call an escort is because at home, they don't get a chance to explore anything or play with anything. And so this gives them lots of ample opportunity to explore things that maybe they wouldn't try. Three outfits later. Erin is now ready to go. Her constant worry <laughs> is being picked up by the police and not being able to look after her kids. Let it go. Am I right? Yes, yes. She's actively involved in the campaign to legalize prostitution. 